Welcome to Wrestle Buddy. I'm Yvonne, and today we're going to talk about my top Bianca Belair opponents. Number one, Charlotte Flair. Bianca Belair has always wanted to beat all four horsewomen in WWE Becky Lynch, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and beating Charlotte Flair, she will achieve that goal for her. The Queen versus the EST at WWE. Who doesn't love the sound of that? This match would still the show, and if I was booking this match, I would book it at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia, and I would have it main event night one, night two of WrestleMania. Charlotte Flair is a 14-time women's champion, one of the best women's wrestlers in WWE, no questions, no doubt about that. She's a second generation professional wrestler. She's the daughter of Ric Flair. There's nothing Charlotte Flair can't do in WWE along with Bianca. Curious how Bianca would reverse Charlotte Flair's figure eight move. That's a strong move, but this be it would be a great match to see. Number two, EO Sky. Now before people start saying we already seen this, hear me out. I know we saw this at Backlash this past Sunday. I understand, but this is, I, I want to see a rematch of this match. And when I say a rematch, I want to see EO Sky without damage control. She can be in damage control, but I want EO Sky out there by herself, a clean fight to the finish. That, I mean, she can be out of damage control. Either one, I want to see a fair fight. And Backlash, I didn't, honestly, it was a fair fight until damage control got involved. Number three. Dakota Kai, a match between these two we haven't seen before. Dakota Kai is in damage control with Io Sky and Bailey. Again, we haven't seen, we've seen Dakota in women's tag team stuff, but we haven't seen her fight Bianca for the belt or any women's title besides down at NXT she did. So same thing with her, without damage control, getting involved, let her have a fair fight. With no interference, it gives Dakota Kai more time to shine. I know, you know, with groups, they're dominant all together, but we know how good Bailey is. We know how good. Give the other two time to shine. Let them have their moment like they did at SummerSlam when they confronted Becky and Bianca out in the ring. Number four, Selena Vega. You can never count out Selena Vega. She she is in groups, and she's not in a lot of women's titles matches, and she's just there. Sometimes Selena Vega's just there as a manager, or, you know, just there for something she did win the first queen of the ring tournament in wwe that's big for her she is a star if you haven't seen backlash her match with rhea ripley win or lose her moment was there huge and when she's booked right she is a absolute star i think she is regardless whatever she does and a match with bianca for the women's title count me in for that selena vega's match at backlash like i said was awesome with rhea ripley number five me chin not not me again or Reckoning, you guys got the joke there. Yeah, Mi Chen's her real name. She is, I know, I know, crazy, too many names there. I just had to say that. Anyways, Mi Chen is part of OC with Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, and the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. She has had a bunch of matches on her own, but honestly, not any matches that I've had interest in, not being, you know, rude, just being honest. And that's worth watching, but with Bianca, it would, have my interest a little high on that uh, to see what these two could do in a match. You know, the hardcore side of Mi Chen, we've seen it, you know, with her eye, eye with Rhea Ripley. So, and how strong Bianca is. Number six, Shotzi. We know how talented Shotzi is. As of lately, we haven't seen much of that. A fresh feud for her is what she needs. Think about both entrances of Shotzi and Bianca. So when Bianca comes out, she's flipping her hair, she's medazzled and bling. She has her title in the WWE Universe and the fans, huge reaction. Like you think the roof of the building's fall like flying off. And when Shotzi comes out, she drives out in her tank. If you guys seen her on NXT, she drives out in a tank. That's her own little thing she does relating to her dad. Driving out to the tank, going screaming, the green hair going crazy. This interests alone sells me on this. And the match, there's no doubt it would be entertaining. Number seven, Lacey Evans. Yes, I said Lacey Evans. We haven't heard much about her. She was out on maternity leave a while back and just returned back to WWE recently. The strongest, the strongness of Bianca and Lacey Evans, the woman's right, which Lacey Evans has made it huge. A punch. Very curious how Bianca would take that, how strong both these women are. Curious how that would go. 
Um, Lacey Evans was just drafted to roll in the draft, so it's very interesting to hear her that she got drafted. So high hopes for her on that. With the right move, Lacey Evans, you know, is a star. Just got to see much of her. Can't judge this until I see it. Both very strong and talented women, so I can't judge it until I see it. Number eight, Isla Dawn from NXT to the main roster, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. She became a star so fast and already on the main roster. That should tell you already in the draft. Went through NXT already on Friday Night SmackDown. That should tell you how talented this woman is. Should tell you something about her. She was in the Mae Young Classics. She was in the NXT UK. Be aware of Isla Dawn. She's scary and dangerous for sure. And this and this opponent for Bianca is very different. I be aware if I was Bianca Belair, this woman coming after me. Just curious how she would handle an opponent like Isla Dawn. I know she's fought Alexa Bliss, that twisted, sick, you know, Bray Wyatt character side. Isla Dawn is exactly like that. Number nine, Abba Fire. Her real name is Kaylee Ray. That's what her she was known as when she, before she went to Abba Fire. From the main roster with her tag team partner Isla Dawn and the other half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Again, went through the roster. She's been ready to go for a while now. She plays with fire and not afraid to bring it. She makes comments about fire and you see her little gimmicks on NXT she used to do. Now with Abba Fire, it's crazy. She brings it to the ring for sure. You have to watch you have to watch her matches on NXT if you know what I'm talking about. A lot of you are like, what? Fire? Yeah. You have to watch her stuff on NXT. Especially her and Isla Dawn, their segments will tell you more. She was U NXT UK Women's Champion for 649 days. What a title reign. She's in the Mae Young Classics. NXT UK and facing Bianca for the first time. Yes, please. Number 10, Tamina. Another superstar we forgot about. Tamina, she's there backstage with Kazawa. That's her own little, that was her gimmick, was her gimmick. Um, with the couple thing, uh, what they were doing with the couple things, I know silly, right? I know, I know it's entertaining, but silly, and it doesn't fit Tamina's character, in my opinion. She needs to be in the title picture with fresh feuds and being noticed more, not in these silly romance gimmicks. You know, Tamina is a strong, dangerous woman, like Nia Jax kind of character. She needs to be booked more um, for what she is, and we know what she can do. And, and with a match with Bianca, I think it'd be a good match. Booked right. Tamina, getting more noticeable, respected. You know, curious how the crowd would react. Always got to pay attention with some of these matches. You know, crowd reaction, very important. She deserves it. Being drafted in this year's draft, again, was very shocking. All places, you know, was surprising to me because a lot of people forgot about her probably forgot about Tamina, which is sad, which tells you a lot. She's a second generation professional wrestler, the daughter of Jimmy Fly Snooka.